Italy has produced an almost endless stream of top footballers. The country is second only to Brazil in terms of World Cups won, while there was a period towards the end of the 20th century when Serie A was probably the dominant league in world football. Even if those days are gone, the Italian conveyor belt of talent continues. Make sure to watch to the end of the video as we go through the top 10 greatest Italian football players of all time. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Number 10. Giuseppe Meazza Meazza remains the second highest scorer of all time for Italy and remains fourth in terms of Serie A goals scored, even though he last kicked a ball competitively in 1947. As a boy, Milan turned down the chance to sign him and instead it was neighbours Inter who gave him his chance. He rewarded their faith by helping them win three Serie A titles and the Coppa Italia. Top Serie A goalscorer on three occasions, he was a key part of the Italy team that won the World Cup in 1934 and then successfully defended their title four years later. The San Siro Stadium in Milan is officially named after him. Number 9. Dino Tsoff It's a measure of how highly Dino Tsoff is regarded as a goalkeeper that in 2004 UEFA recognised him as the best Italian player of the last 50 years. Meanwhile, another highly respected poll listed him just behind Lev Yashin and Gordon Banks as the greatest keeper of all time. Zoff was renowned for his positioning and handling of the ball under pressure. He possessed excellent reactions and was calm, composed and consistent, one of the reasons he was chosen to captain the Italy team that won the 1982 World Cup, despite being 40 at the time. He was also named goalkeeper of the tournament. Domestically, he achieved great success with Juventus. During 12 seasons with them, he won six Serie A titles, the Coppa Italia twice and the UEFA Cup. Number 8. Andrea Pirlo Although Pirlo began his career as an attacking midfielder, it was when he developed into a deep-lying playmaker that he quickly ascended into becoming one of the finest players in the world. His passing ability and vision were second to none, and he was an excellent dead ball specialist. After spells with Regina, Brescia and Inter, he finally found his feet with Milan, winning two Serie A titles, the Coppa Italia and two Champions Leagues during his time at San Siro. When he then joined Juventus, four more league titles were added to his tally. He scored 13 goals in 116 appearances for Italy and picked up a World Cup winner's medal in 2006. Pirlo was named Serie A Player of the Year on three occasions. Number 7. Gigi Riva During the 1960s, Riva was the pin-up boy of Italian football. He began as a left winger before evolving into a striker, known for his powerful left foot, aerial ability, speed and strength. Nicknamed Rombo di Tuono, the Roar of Thunder, he was another player who spent almost his entire career with just one club, in this case Cagliari, helping the Sardinian club win the Serie A title for the only time in their history in 1970. That same year, he was part of the Italy team that lost the World Cup final to Pele's Brazil. He would go on to play for his country 42 times and with 35 goals, remains Italy's leading international goalscorer. Number 6. Gianni Rivera Rivera became known as the golden boy in Italy, not only because he enjoyed success young, but also because of his elegance and creativity on the pitch. Highly regarded for his excellent ball control and first touch, dribbling skills and technique, Rivera, above all, was an exceptional passer of the ball. He spent nearly all his professional career with Milan, winning three Serie A titles, four Coppa Italias, as well as winning the European Cup and the Cup Winners' Cup twice each. In 1969, he won the Ballon d'Or and was named Milan's player of the 20th century. He made his Italy debut aged just 17 and would go on to play in four World Cups and, like Riva, was a member of the team that finished on the losing side in Mexico in 1970. It's a solid top half finish for our number five, Franco Baresi. Italy has a habit of producing exceptional defenders and Baresi was one of the best. Although he was primarily deployed as a centre-back or sweeper, he could play anywhere across the back line. He was renowned for his ability to read the game, strong tackling, vision and distribution. He was also a fine penalty taker. Another one-club man with Milan, he captained them for 15 seasons and during his time at the club they won almost every trophy available, including six Scudetti, the Champions League three times and the Club World Cup. He played for Italy 81 times and was part of the team that won the World Cup in 1982. And also he was captain of the losing side in 1994, 
In 2000, he was voted Italy's player of the 20th century. Number 4. Gianluigi Buffon Remarkably, Buffon is still playing at the age of 44, although he now plies his trade with Parma in Serie B, the club where he began his career. When he was sold to Juventus in 2001, his fee was a world record for a goalkeeper at the time, but it was money well spent by the Turing club, as he would win 10 Serie A titles and 5 Coppa Italias in two spells with them. He was named Serie A Goalkeeper of the Year no less than 12 times. The most capped player in the history of the Italian national team with 176 appearances to his name. The highlight of his career with the Azzurri was in 2006, when he was between the sticks as they won the World Cup for the fourth time. Number 3. Alessandro Del Piero Although he was lethal in front of goal, he was also known for his hard work and willingness to create chances for others. Described by one former teammate as a 9.5, he was often deployed in a support striker role, dropping back into midfield to receive the ball. His time with Juventus yielded him seven league titles, the Coppa Italia and the Champions League in 1996, whilst he played for Italy 91 times and won the World Cup with them in 2006. Del Piero was twice named Serie A's most loved player. Isn't that sweet? Number 2. Roberto Baggio Known as the Divine Ponytail, Baggio was a multifaceted individual, known for his progressive views off the pitch, as well as his vision, creativity, flair and technical skills on it. When he was transferred from Fiorentina to Juventus, local fans were so incensed that they rioted in the streets of Florence. However, during his time in Turin, he won the Ballon d'Or, as well as the Serie A and Coppa Italia. Although he will forever be haunted by his penalty miss in the 94 World Cup final shootout with Brazil, no man did more than him to get Italy to that stage in the first place. He played for Italy 56 times, scoring 27 goals, and is still their joint fourth top scorer ever. When the Italian Hall of Fame was inaugurated in 2011, Baggio was the first inductee. And at number one, it's Paolo Maldini. Maldini was the first ever defender to be shortlisted for the Ballon d'Or. A one-club man with his beloved Milan, he made more than 900 appearances for the club, many of them as captain in his later years, and when he finally hung up his boots, they retired his shirt. With the Serie A side, he won seven league titles, the Coppa Italia, the Champions League on five occasions, and the FIFA Club World Cup on three occasions. He played 126 games for Italy, scoring seven times, and collected a World Cup runners-up medal in 1994, having been part of the team that came third four years earlier. He was renowned for his calmness on the field, and his reading of the game was exceptional. So that was our list of the best Italian football players of all time, but of course, you may be furious about the one name we missed. Well, let us know in the comments below how you would rank them, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.